we've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ethalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra, a specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her, after all the pain and the horror he put us through, I hate him. Sometimes, I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. Then don't think. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me. You'll love her. Just you wait. It's moments like these we have to hold on to. <laughs> Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar, and here I am. Drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Wanna go back? Midgar? I mean, of course. Someday. But I also know I have to move on. At least for now. No telling what the future holds for us. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. It's because of Hojo this place is in ruins. No, I can't blame him for our actions. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... We had no choice. Things would have turned out worse if we hadn't stepped in. True. Not comforting, but true. Late to the party once again. Why do I even bother? I'm finished. No. The company can't fire me if... If I fire myself first! You hear that? I quit! Hey, Rufus! Take your Mako and shove it up your ass! Hate to say it. That girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. <laughs> you? Trying to cheer me up? Now I've seen everything.
Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, though fun ain't the word I'd use. So, back to the hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell in. on the beach gave me the lowdown on the hotel and mayor capono Ugh, i'm a moron how could i be so blind you borrowed a lot of money from him right will you be able to pay it back so the girls told capono keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad shinro will kick you to the curb and the crazy thing is, it worked! He caved! I am footloose and dead free, baby! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Johnny, the local hero! Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel! Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans. Ow, 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 ow. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some ropes. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. 